All right, y'all, today I am going to be adding a cake plate to my door. You can see it hiding over there on the floor. I'm so excited to see how this will change the look of my home, the look of my door, and protect the bottom of my door. Do you have a cake plate? If not, you may want one. Check it out. Okay, before we get started actually adding the cake plate, let's look at my door before. So it was just a plain white door and I added this paint to it. It has added so much. Here is the after of the paint, but look at that bottom. It needs a cake plate. Even Guapo thinks so. <laughs> Before I get started, I'm going to just get this door clean because it has taken some wear and tear from my kids. I just wiped it down with some warm water, a little bit of dish soap, and got as much off as I possibly could. This wasn't a deep scrub. But let's talk about why we needed a cake plate on the bottom of the door. This door has taken some wear and tear and you don't realize it, but you use your feet to open the door a lot, especially when you're bringing in things like groceries. And recently I have been noticing pictures in Pinterest of gorgeous houses and these gorgeous kick plates. And guess what? I found this one at the thrift store for $2.99. So I thought, why not try it out? It had all the directions on the back. So I decided to get started. If you enjoy watching furniture flips and DIYs like this, then be sure to hit subscribe and that like button. And I promise there will be some entertainment. Just wait for it. I am definitely not good at playing cool. Okay, here is our kick plate and you can see there's a plastic cover over the top of it um, that protects it while you put it on and it also came with all the hardware. We're going to measure the size of the door to see where the center is and line up the center circle with the center of the door. I will tell you that my kick plate is a little smaller than some others, so I also measured two inches from each side to make it perfectly centered. Now each kick plate and each door will be different, so just make sure you do really well at finding that center. So there's a few different ways to complete this next section, but what I decided to do is drill a pilot hole in the center and place a screw there to hold the piece. Now when putting the screws in, it says to lubricate the screws. So I took some fusion wax that I had, lubricated that screw so that it won't break off as you're trying to put it into the door. I went ahead and made sure that it was straight. And if you really want to be very particular, you can use a level, um, but I just measured to make sure they were straight and even. You can not even tape this just to help hold it in place, um, but I just went ahead and drilled those pilot holes. Why not go for it, right? All right, we're getting to the good part, so let's go ahead and screw the kick plate on. Guys, if y'all don't follow my other pages, be sure and check them out. I have a business called Prayed Over Pieces, and I am on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. After doing this, I would recommend starting on the inside with your screwing and then moving it to the outside as you go to make sure there's no bending. I was kind of teaching myself, so I did it just in a random order, but definitely try to go from inside to outside as that will be much more helpful for you. What do you think so far? It is looking good. I'm not sure that this will be a forever thing for me. I may have to get one that's bigger or change color as I change hardware, but it really adds something to the door. Okay, we're almost there. Are you ready for the reveal? This part, Eddie. You'd think I would learn not to throw things at the camera. <laughs> here is the before of my door, and here's the after. 
Let me know what you think. Do you think it adds something to the door? Do you think I should change the hardware? Do you have a kick plate? I'm so excited to hear all about what you think and be sure to subscribe to the Furniture Flippers Guide because I have some really great furniture flips coming soon and even more home DIYs. Kiki's excited. <laughs> Can't wait. See y'all then.